and a lot depends on strong American leadership. When you take a look at Mars, you probably wouldn't think that it looks like a very nice place to live. Bizarre Martian plumes discovered by amateur astronomers. Amateur astronomers have spotted two clouds rising from the Martian surface, and nobody knows how they can exist. Oh, I've heard. How much information that science tells us about our solar system can you verify 100% for yourself? Stay cool. Baby, I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents... We're talking about red auroras on Earth and green auroras on Mars, plus cotton candy monsters in the fields of Elysium. Now, what does that mean? That's just my way of telling you. I have no idea what is going on. I have no idea what is true and untrue. All I know is what I can verify, and I know very little about Mars, except for it's a shiny little light in the sky. Sometimes it looks like a star. Now, back in the day as early as the 70s, NASA used to think that there might be fields of vegetation growing on Mars and life burgeoning all over. Well, since then, since we got our first pictures back, it's been dirt, 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 and more dirt. Now, there is frost or snow in some areas, but oddly enough, out of the 6,000 robots they've sent to Mars, they have never sent them to the snow regions. You would think that you'd be like, hey, let's go find out if Mars has water. You would think like, if you're like, hey, yeah, let's go see if Mars has some water. My first idea would be like, why don't you go scoop up some of that snow, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, if I was looking for water on Mars, it wouldn't be in the dirt canals. It'd be right where the snow is. But I like to ski. So, you know, I'm different. I think differently. If I want to snow ski, I go where the snow is. Or, that's not the pop proper analogy. So here we are talking about what we do know and what we don't know about Mars. We do know amateur astronomers found plumes. Amateur astronomers found strange plumes on Mars, which none of NASA's orbiting satellites seem to capture. We are now being told on spaceweather.com that there are green auroras on Mars. One day, when humans go to Mars, they might find that the red planet has green skies. NASA's MAVEN spacecraft, which has only sent back one or two photographs since it got there September 23rd, 2014, has discovered widespread auroras on Mars. Thanks for sharing the photographs. And not where researchers expected. And not where researchers expected them to be. Get the full story at Science at NASA, which we will in a minute. And then... We got red auroras on Earth. Most auroras are green, although they come in multiple colors like magenta, pink, blue, silver. Well, on May 10th, Alan Dyer witnessed an unusual display of red. From my observing site near Gleichen, Alberta, the northern sky had a diffuse glow of normal green aurora, reports Dyer. But overhead, the aurora took form of a red arc across the sky. He captured this phenomenon in this 40-minute Star Trail exposure. Wow, and that looks more pink to me. Red auroras are not fully understood. Technically, auroras are not fully understood. But why tic-tac, pic-pac, knick-knacks with semantics? They occur some 300 to 500 kilometers above Earth's surface, much higher than ordinary green auroras. They're kind of like sprites or elves or jets. Some researchers believe the red lights are linked to low energy electrons from the sun, which move to slowly, which move slowly, which move too slowly to penetrate deeply into the atmosphere. Easy for me to say. What? When such electrons recombined with oxygen ions in the upper atmosphere, red photons are emitted. At present, space weather forecasters cannot predict when this will occur. Well, maybe it's magic, you know, not photons. Fart now, red, fart dust, red, photon, fart dust. That's not funny. All right, let's go to that NASA story. Christmas Aurora. Man, sometimes I got it and sometimes I don't, you know. All right, what was I going to do? Ultraviolet. Milk for the ultraviolet. All right, we're over at NASA's website. We're going straight to the horse to get it out of the dog's mouth. Aurora's on Mars, May 11th, 2015. One day, when humans go to Mars, they might find that occasionally the red planet has green skies. Well, they might find out a lot of stuff that was not preconceived. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Do you know what I mean? In late December 2014, NASA's MAVEN spacecraft detected evidence of widespread auroras in Mars' northern hemisphere. The Christmas lights, as researchers called them, circled the globe 
and descended so close to the Martian equator that if the lights had occurred on Earth, they would have been over places like Florida and Texas. The Christmas lights, as researchers called them, circled the globe and descended so close to the Martian equator that if the lights had occurred on Earth, they would have been seen over places like Florida and Texas. And if it was over Christmas, they would have been doubly wowser. It really is amazing, said Nick Schneider, who leads Maven's imaging ultraviolet spectrograph, AUV's instrument team at the University of Colorado. Auroras on Mars appear to be more Auroras on Mars appear to be more wide ranging than we ever imagined. Yeah, so what's up with Auroras, bro? A map of Maven's imaging ultraviolet spectrograph. Sweet. Wow, that's a lot of words. <laughs> This isn't the first time a spacecraft has detected auroras on Mars. Ten years ago, the European Space Agency's Mars Express found an ultraviolet glow coming from magnetic umbrellas in the southern hemisphere. It's for all that sunbathing.